people of color and consciousness, um, folks who are marked or marginalized, even when we're physically in spaces and we speak, we're, we deal with the ratio. Like, it's like no one sees us. People don't want to hear us. They ignore us. It's like they're not tuned to the frequency to listen to what we have to say. They refuse it. Coming into a space with your own presentation, because you've designed your own exterior and with your own sphere, I feel like it's a form of liberation and, and, and it's a way of um refusing to be ignored conquested and colonized that's all you can't have me you can't have my skin you can't have my hair you can't have my body you can't have my emotions you can't have my genitals my sexuality you can't have my body hair you can't have any you can't even have my scars you can't have any of it and i'm gonna it's all mine ifa is a six thousand year old indigenous african yoruba religion it's earth-based meaning that we find divinity um in natural places in the mm -hmm. earth so i don't my body as a way of owning my body but also as a way of just honoring the traditions that have come before me that saw the body as a temple and I feel like this is my altar this is my first altar I can alter this space and alter space around me and alter minds and alter systems all from me I love talking about the Alekehe's because they're so powerful um I got them when I was 15 when I first got initiated and like when you get initiated it's kind of like it's like getting baptized it's very similar each bead is a portal um, it represents a specific Orisha, uh, Orumala, have Shango, Obatala, Osain, Eshu Leroye, I have Yemaya, Oshun, Olakun. And these are all of the, the, the deities that specifically walk with me. If, if something were to happen to my beads, of course I would be like so hurt, but it, the, the medicine's inside of me. This is just um, an outward recognition mm -hmm. of the medicine that I have inside. So someone could try to take my beads, break them, smash them, which is what they did in colonization, what they did during the Mayafa, which is the enslavement. Uh, and it doesn't matter because the magic is still inside. This is where style meets spirituality and they're ritually presented mm -hmm. to folks. So I would mm -hmm. ask if you do see these out and you see someone who's done something similar and they're on Etsy, don't buy them because that's a form of appropriation. My rings, they all have a, a purpose and meaning. This is a snake which represents Dambala. Dambala is the um, voodoo um, god, which is a serpent. This is Oshun in her mermaid form, which is a river mermaid. This is a mask my partner gave me that reminds me of like, the ancestors. Um, this is my father. He passed away recently, rest in peace. And this is my grandmother's ring. But it has all the X's. And, um, and Ifa, like, Eshu is the god of the crossroads, and so he's an ex, and so mm -hmm. I kind of like all the exes together. Mm -hmm. People can only get their ears stretched um, at certain stages in their life. Like, in some, in some cultures, only elders have stretched ears. Mm -hmm. In certain cases, younger folks do have them. Mm -hmm. Usually signs of beauty, signs of maturity, or, or signs of, like, your position in society. And so I don't have those traditions. They have not, they belong to me, but they have not been passed down the same ways because of colonization and all of these, uh, this cultural genocide that I'm, like, living through actively. And so I decided to... How can I still respectfully honor these traditions but put my own innovation on them? So when I felt like I went through something important or I went through a shedding or I went through a growth, I would get a new size. I went up five sizes in my gauges in one year. So I was I went up from like this to this in one year. And I stopped and I looked in the mirror and I saw this African indigenous person like overlaid on me. I looked into the mirror, I knew I was done. I think it's a form of like owning your body and um, in, a, in, a, in a way of resisting and refusing Western beauty standards. It's so funny because like, because green is is such a part of like uh, like of plants and fruit and nature. When I put on certain colors with my green hair, I become something. I feel like a pumpkin mm -hmm. or a carrot right now. I think too when I changed my hair color so much in high school, I proved that like I can be beautiful with any color. I tell people like you know like if I put my hand in front of my face, like that's my bark. You know like I'm a little tree. I am inspired by trees and Oroko and the idea of having deep roots and strong branches. So my friend Jenna, she worked on Boots Riley, Sorry to Bother You, which is a great movie, and she gave me these earrings as a gift and it says we the bomb tell homeland security and i just love that and i think too when we think about the idea of terror and what type of people are called terrorists what type, what type of folks are seen as like uh are seen as like aggressive or violent that's never true that's always false so i am the bomb i'm gonna blow some shit up but it's gonna be for fun it's gonna be with fashion it's gonna be for change and revolution my first tattoo is right here and it's a, it's a tattoo of Nefertiti. Uh, I got it when I was 16. You know, she was one of the first and only rulers 
ancient Egypt or Kemet that wore both, you know, the feminine crown and the masculine beard. She was, um, she was both the mother and the father. John Coltrane, and he, and on the other side, it's, um, a love, it says Ja Love Supreme, and Ja meaning God, but also it's a play on one of his albums, um, A Love Supreme. Mm -hmm. And I dealt with like a lot of addiction, not of like harder drugs or anything. I mean, I, I have like a dip to personality. Like mm -hmm. I just have to get to people, places, things, to like to weed, to, to sex, to a lot of different things. He made, he, he made an album, A Love Supreme, and he was a and he was addicted to heroin. Mm -hmm. And he just got inspired to write the album overnight. And when he woke up and he wrote it, uh, he just like kind of channeled it out. He never did heroin mm -hmm. again. And I just think about the power of art to change systems mm -hmm. and change patterns and to cure addiction mm -hmm. and to cure ailments. And so that's God. That's God's love. Breaking the chain of violence. Mm -hmm. So the chain is broken. Mm -hmm. the, the chain doesn't continue on on my arm. It was based on this quote, uh, if nothing else, believe in art. An ode to art. And so she's Black Alice in Wonderland. She has a third eye, and but she's crying out of all of her eyes. And people think that she's crying because she's sad, but she's crying because it's just so beautiful. And because it's so painful because it's so lovely and she's just overwhelmed so she's crying because of out of joy i think one of the most important pieces of this tattoo is that the double helix the the um the, the dna strand is at the bottom and i feel like that's the first form of art so you have art and then you have the dna and then you have this beautiful thing that's created i was one of those kids who grew up who was like oh well you know i'm a tomboy and i'm masculine and pink is weak and pink is this and pink is that i stopped dissociating pink with um being weak mm -hmm. I, and I stopped associating softness with not being strong and so now I can wear my pink happily and be very comfortable in my gender identity I call this my champagne poppy uh my champagne poppy sweater I feel very much like you know like some somebody's cute little grandpa who's about to you know like win the bingo thing so that's my pink today my wildest dream is for any and everything that I um make with my art to come true the world would be it would be black and fat and queer and hairy and glistening and covered in shea butter and it would smell delicious and um, it would be free. It's all tribe, returning to the tribe. That's what I really think about all the time. Um, so what would it look like if people were allowed to be a part of a tribe and look different? That's what my, my future looks like.